Hi Virgo, it's Tuesday. We're going to do your reading. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is general. Let me show you your pre-shuffle real quick. And um, just FYI, real quick, uh, all my videos are timeless, so if it doesn't resonate, please be sure to check out your other placements. And even if it does resonate, and then all my extendeds, well, I say all my extendeds, I don't have that many, but they are extremely detailed, especially if you're on a twin flame, which we do have some indication of twin flame here. Um, I will link any, cor you know, correlating extendeds that could be helpful down below. You can check those out. They turned out really good. I've heard really amazing things about them, and I know I need to do more, but um, let's get started. So interesting here. So the very first card that came out was the Seven of Cups. So it looks like you've got options. It could be confusion, but because of the rest of the cards, I'm seeing more of like a decision making um, about options. So we also got the Temperance card. Okay, the Empress which is Divine Feminine. And as you see here, we got Divine Masculine. The um, This could be Libra, this could be Aries you could be dealing with. So we have the, the Empress card is all about self-love, self-respect, value, holding your value, value knowing your value. And um, that has something to do, I think, with what's going on with your decision-making, with your options. So. Maybe you think then this nine of wands was backwards. That's the cool thing about this deck. It's it's like backwards. Kind of it gives everything a, a little bit different of a meaning. So I'm really loving this deck. This is the transparent tarot. And it's it's really advanced, so I'm not uh, you know, I'm still learning. But anyway, so this nine of wands, this is typically, you know, you've it's been it's wound it's been a long road, um, but you're not giving up and it's it's backwards, so it's not. I don't pick up on anything that you're really giving up so much as you're letting go of what's been so so difficult. Okay, but this looks good. And then you've got look how they layer. You've got the Empress card, which is nurturing and growing, and um, all things. You know, the 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 Empress finds it looks at everything through loving eyes. You know. And then we have the temperance card. So for some of you, it could have something to do with, you know, letting go or drinking less. Maybe there's somebody in your life that's, you know, self-medicating. Temperance card is balancing out. It could mean just not overreacting. But anyway, this right here tells a pretty good story. And then I love this. We got, this totally correlates the pivot point. You are at a fork in the road where an important decision may have a substantial impact. The universe powerfully, res powerfully responds to instant, the instant I realign with love. Okay. So it looks, what I'm picking up on, and we'll see what the tarot spread says, but what I'm picking up on is that there's something you've been trying to make right, make better, make work. Um, and there's, not only does it look like you're going to have other options, you're not putting all your emphasis in one person or one area. You're going to have options, but you're also going to give up a little bit of control is what I think. Um, and it, that could mean letting go of a twin flame relationship for now. If it's not good for you now, then, you know, you don't, you, you, that's the right thing to do. You, you don't, you don't suffer. You elevate yourself in other ways with that Empress card. Um, and then look at that temperance again, balancing out peace, harmony. Also, you guys keep your eye out for butterflies and I feel like there might be some butterflies, you know, coming to you or being, you know, presented to you as a sign. When and if you see butterflies, um, especially white, see her white wings. So when and if you see butterflies, make sure you stop and think of, and, and really kind of think about what you were doing or thinking about at that time because it could be a sign. Um, and look at this. It looks like you're just maybe making a decision to detach from something that's been very painful. It's going to bring peace, harmony when you do that. In putting your, your, oh, wow. 
These are opposites. This is just where I split the deck. Ace of Wands, that's truth, clarity, and this is secrets, maybe emotions. Oh, and look at that. Look at the wolf or coyote. And here you got trust in divine detours. Something's not working out the way you wanted, and it's held you back, I think. And this is all about being rewarded for letting go of that control or letting go of putting so much effort into something that's so difficult. Okay, Ace of Wands in the Moon, Secrets. So it looks like some secrets would be revealed, will be revealed. Either that or it's just saying, um, oh, look at that inner note. Oh, I, I'm serious. I seriously, what I got in your pre shuffle in meditating was that you, mm, I just lost it. Oh, look at the butterflies again. I just kind of lost it, but I, what what I do know was really clear is that you have put a lot of work and energy into something, and it's like no matter what you do, how hard you try, it's it's getting harder. It's not helping. It's almost like you know, let go and let God. Time to let go and let God. Something like that. Let's look at your energy, their energy. Let's see if we can get you some advice. How are you guys? I hope you're well. There it is again. I think you guys are on a twin flame journey. Like I said, the twin, the, the extendeds, the very few extendeds I have are very detailed and helpful for twin flame. They've just come out crazy strong. I've cried in them. Um, I highly recommend them. I will link some down below and you can watch the trailer and see if you feel pulled to them. But um, the emperor again. Okay, so overall energy. Yeah, this is narcissist. Look at that. It's like something just has been too hard. And, you know, sometimes we just, it's its like because we've invested so much that makes it harder to easily walk away or accept or we want to fix it. Um, but it's just not, it's just not happening that way. But the devil card, Capricorn and Aries could be significant. But don't, oh my gosh, yeah, you guys are on a twin flame. And you may not, maybe you don't know it, can't let go. Trying, trying, trying to get some communication about stability. And it's just, it's not going that way. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, yeah, you, oh my gosh. Um... Five of Pentacles, feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. Judgment card, this could be a reconciliation, but you got to remove yourself, I believe, from this situation before this happens, okay? This also could be, you know, it could be a strong judgment call to stop, do, to stop, get out of the position that you're in. Interesting that those flew out so crazy like that. Look at that new beginning. Just like I said, you're gonna. Ha I think you're gonna have to um, remove yourself. But we have we have a good we have good things coming. So let's keep going. Four of Pentacles. Inability to let go because you're afraid. It, the four Four of Pentacles is fear of lack. It's like, well, if I let this go, what if I don't? What if I'm alone? Or what if I don't? Um, this is my only chance. I promise you it is not your only chance and staying in it the way it is is the, wor is the most damaging thing you can do. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, wow. There could be a, a little bit of a pull for money. Money might be holding you to something, someone. Five of Cups. So that's your energy. Six of Cups. Wow. Thinking about the past. Very sweet. Fond memories. Come on, camera. What's your deal? Six of Cups. Beautiful. So that's somebody from the past returning. Some of you may just be holding on to that. Um, but with that judgment card coming out so uh, abruptly, 
Ooh, see? King and Queen of Swords. This to me, there's the butterflies again. This to me feels like an unhappy, some unhappy connection. See, her sword is up. She wants truth and clarity, but his sword is down and detached. Um, let's put those aside. Okay. What is this? Okay, let's get your person's energy. I'm jumping around. Sorry, guys. Oh, Nine of Swords. Your person has got maybe some some childhood wounds, some sort of wounds that are affecting this. Hmm. That's, yeah, but look at their energy. Your person's energy is deceitful. Controlling. Um, I almost want to say damaging. Now there is some are some cross what there's some cross watcher energy. So you know some of this could be um, the roles can be reversed. So flip them if you need to, and ignore me when I say he she. Your person may be just shut down because they don't want to admit to, you know, what secrets or lies have been told. And this wolf keeps kind of standing out to me. I'm going to put that one back. Okay, what's going on with, let's see what happened in the recent past. Definitely a difficult relationship somewhere. It could be someone in the past or it could be what your person is tied to or you. I don't know. Six of Swords walking away. So there's some uh, energy of get somebody giving up on a difficult situation, a difficult and there it is again. Again, wanting communication about stability. If you already have walked away from a difficult situation, this might be confirmation that you did the right thing. <clears throat> wow, the moon again. Oh, I like that. Nine of Cups. That's wish fulfillment. And look at her blowing, oh my gosh, a dandelion. I've never even noticed that. Dandelion is always twin flame for me. I'm the, it's, not a, it's not a tarot thing. It's just a Tuesday thing because it's, it's a personal experience. But there's a, she's, look at that. She's blowing on a dandelion. And look at that going into the moon. And that came out with the moon card. So that would be maybe secret wishes. Secret wishes, because the Nine of Cups, how interesting. The Nine of Cups is, you know, wish fulfillment. I also is a strong self-love card for me. Wow, look at this. So the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles, this is all about not giving up, taking action, in focusing attention on probably things that are beneficial rather than things that aren't. I'm gonna start clarifying because I'm really curious about some of these things. Look at this, King of Cups. You've got somebody new coming in. It could be, it's, a, it's probably someone from your past because of that Six of Cups. You know what I think for a lot of you, now, you know, this is not everybody, but I feel like for a lot of you, leaving some, and this may not have happened yet, but some love from the past is, it's kind of like that one that got away that you maybe feel like you should have been with, but now there's the interference is a difficult relationship elsewhere. There's like two sets here. And I think there's a, a past love coming back. There is a big reward coming here somewhere. I just haven't gotten the details of it. Oh, hold on, I'm getting something strong. All right, somebody who hurt you in the past, maybe with somebody else, ended up in a really difficult relationship. 
and it looks like that person is ending that, walking away from this con very tumultuous relationship and returning. So you have two, so I think there's two love interests here. One not good, maybe one that hurt you in the past that is going to come back. I want to know what's going on with this moon card and something with wishes. Look at that. I knew it. You guys have a twin flame either coming, returning, but it's going to be equal love. No more of this. No more. But you gotta get, you gotta free yourself. You can't, you can't stay stuck in a bad relationship, even if you think it's your twin, because sometimes we, when we let go of, I hear it all the time. Think someone's our twin. We think we're supposed to be loyal and, and you know, hang out through thick and thin, and then as soon as you let it go and really focus on self-love, then a new person comes in, often a real twin. But again, I mean, it's not my place to say it is or isn't. I'm just. If you, you know, the, the extendeds might help with that, but regardless of who all these people are, letting go of this toxic, toxic, whoever, you or your person, someone's letting go of a toxic, very um, unhealthy, toxic relationship, and happiness is coming. It's a cycle completing. Look at that. That's my cat snoring. You hear it? This is beautiful cycle completion. Um, I really want to get one. I feel like there's something more. Tell me more about the future. Six of Pentacles. That's abundance. Big time abundance. Oh, truth and clarity, being recognized, wish fulfillment. Wow. Truth and clarity. The truth is going to be revealed. Some there's some sort of toxic. I know I keep saying that. I, in the word hater, hater, some some toxic interference is ending. But Virgo, you can't sit and wait for it. You have to move forward and focus on things that you can make better. You know, your health, you, your being your future self, working out, things that focusing on work, focusing on you. Some, it, I think, I think, I know what this is saying is that good things are coming, but you got to take that step. It, maybe your step is just letting go of the past or the things that are toxic. So don't focus on the things that are toxic because then you're going to just keep perpetuating that situation. Somebody is coming back, whether it's this person that's been bad to you or some, I think it's somebody from before. Am I totally confusing everything? You're going to have options. We had that in the very beginning. You're going to have options, which is amazing. Okay. Anything else for Virgo? <sighs> Stable new beginning. Beautiful. Wow. There you go. Something new, something beautiful. But I think you're going to be able to choose. I think somebody that you maybe meant or were meant to be with or feel like you were meant to be with is going to surprise you by returning. And I don't know who this is, but there's a toxic relationship that's coming to a close. That's kind of been a karmic thing that's kept the good apart. Okay, the um, maybe the two people that were meant to be together. Why am I still going? <laughs> Stabbed in the back. Four of Cups is just, it's either not interested or losing interest. Somebody's just tired of the fighting, tired of the bickering. You're going to be rewarded for it. Did I say that already ten times? Let's get another animal spirit. I love this. Freedom is yours. Take the lead. I'm going to leave it there. Look where I split the deck. The stag spirit, take the lead. The horse spirit, freedom is yours. 
Got to get out of whatever's toxic, okay? All right, love you guys. Let me know in the comments. I love to hear your comments. Also, if you guys want to be a part of the of the um, group manifestation, check out the last Leo video. I believe it was on posted on June 26th. And you'll see there's a ton of comments where we're, um, if you put your manifestations in there, I will help you manifest. Um, so if you, don't put anything negative in there because I'm not going to, I'm not going to get that attention. So what you want to do is you want to say like my manifestation right now, I realize that all my manifestations, you know, things were just going so well and then a bunch of stuff started falling apart. Right. And, um, and I was like, what's going on? And then I realized, oh my gosh, I'm not, I stopped manifesting. I stopped doing my intentions. I stopped journaling and be, doing my gratitudes. So I'm starting that up again and I'm a really, really good, I mean, I really do believe in my manifesting abilities. Um, it's just more of, you know, making, my, making yourself do it and staying in the habit. But if you put your manifestation in there, word it like this. I am so happy and grateful for having more money in the bank than I know what to do with. I can't, I love it. something like that, okay? And then I'll come back and, um, and double down on that and help add power to it, okay? And everybody in there is trying to, you know, focusing on abundance. A lot of the comments say, are, are really putting energy into everybody else's manifestations anyway. It's in the Leo video. Feel free to, you know, I'd love for you guys to join us because the more, the merrier. Um, okay. Love you guys. Also, just love to hear your stories and where you're watching from. I will see you soon. Bye, Virgo. Love you.